interesting because I can recall when we were the progressive left by government, in government, there were accusations made against our former colleagues, which just the accusations being made in public led to uh, investigations by uh, the governor or uh, those institutions that are under his remit. Um, certainly, we would think in a normalized uh, jurisdiction under normal conditions that the governor, having ultimate responsibility for law and order, will take the necessary steps to launch an investigation and ensure that nothing untoward has occurred, even though in the, in the information presents a picture that something very untoward has occurred. Now, as the Progressive Labor Party, do we have an expectation that government House will act? Frankly, no. Because from my experience over the last two and a half years, and being the opposition to the Mama Real Alliance government, we have seen a turn of spirit uh, emanating from government house, which seems to be hands off when issues like this arise. Uh, notwithstanding the fact that government house does have ultimate and practical, functional, operational responsibility for certain uh, institutions under our constitutional order, which can ensure for government. Uh, notwithstanding that, in terms of actions and from our experience, our confidence is very low. And so what I will do at this time is encourage uh, the citizens of this country to come out tomorrow to a town hall meeting that's planned by the people's pension to hear the facts. At which point in time, once uh, simulating the facts, uh, it's up to you to make a decision on how you want us to act. Rather, you pass that message through uh, the organizers of the People's Campaign, or, matter of fact, we will be present to hear their voice. But at some point, at some point, uh, the institutions of government, the standards have to be raised. As far as we can, are concerned, uh, for the last few months, in particular, we have seen compromise, not just in the executive part, but we have seen compromise within the legislature. And there are some instances of compromise within the law and order aspect that comes out in the movement of the death penalty. And so unless those three areas of government or institutions that govern our country are fixed and put on a proper footing, then we can see this island going and continuing to defend or educate and towards, like I said earlier, a path to chaos. And let me make it clear, no one needs chaos and instability. No one. The people who are suffering most are the people we represent. They are the suffering, the people who are unemployed, the people who are looking for jobs, the people who are having problems paying their rent and their electricity bill and putting groceries in their beds. And so we're very wise and cognizant of the fact that there is a lot of political risk associated with the behavior of the one Bermuda Alliance government. But I will posit that. This behavior is only the reflection of a small group of maybe 20 to 50 people. It's not a reflection of those who support or voted for the One Bermuda Alliance. Rest assured, it's not. Okay, those who voted for the One Bermuda Alliance a few years ago voted in good faith because they wanted genuine change, because they were tired of the Progressive Labor Party. Okay, they were tired. But trust me, they did not sign on to that type of behavior. So we are holding the One Bermuda Alliance government that poor 20 to 50 people to account for the sake of everyone in this country, especially for the future generation. Um, we know that there's been a lot of back and forth between the government and government house regarding letters of entrustment. And we see lots of references to letters of entrustment. The fact is that this is the exact same deal that was done to Cayman Islands. And the United Kingdom government rejected that deal and said that it should go out for tender process. It is clear that these documents reveal that this is the exact same deal. And failure of government house to act in this regard to demonstrate their complicity, their, their, them being complicit yes. in this, I will call it, expropriation of $1 billion of revenue of this government, of people's money. The fact is, departure tax was raised, and it was raised, the Minister of Finance said, to help to fund this airport deal. That's what's happening right now. 
gone to a contractor that selected themselves. There is nothing about the situation that can be right. There is nothing about the situation. And for Government House to stand by and watch and to give any form of approval for this to proceed, especially with the evidence that has now been presented, it to me would indicate that them and the UK government are complicit in this expropriation of a billion dollars of the European people. Proper law and order. Law is supposed to be applied to justice. It shouldn't be applied arbitrarily, right, to help some and hurt others. And so we do, by the letter of the law, expect some action. But from my experience, our confidence is very, very low. And that means that if there is, if democracy has been brought into this regime, democracy has been robbed from the people over two and a half years, then democracy has to be restored. And that power lies in the people who gave the so-called politicians the power to either do well or right by them or to manipulate them.